New Orleans today, hundreds of U.S. military veterans received their COVID-19 vaccine at the city's Veterans Affairs Center. As Olivia Vidal reports, many veterans were excited to be among the first to get it. Yeah, I was looking forward to this. A I big day for many veterans as they received their first dose of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. I was thinking about the length of the needle. Hey, it ain't so long. It ain't as long as I imagined. About 430 local military veterans received their vaccine, totaling over 3,100 since the vaccine arrived to the VA in December. Some veterans say it's the least they can do. I guess always first to serve. But it's just a shot. I figure if everybody gets one, then we can get rid of these masks. You know, felt like I needed it needed to be done from the beginning. I never was, you know, saying I wasn't going to come here. It wasn't a thought of mine. And amongst our veterans, you know, so far we know that we have um, about 13,000 who are interested, which is great. Dr. Caitlin Martin Klinger with the New Orleans VA Medical Center says they're delivering the vaccine as soon as it arrives and are hoping to help out all of the veterans who want the drug. The, the interest is out there and so we just we we're trying to get it out as fast as we can so that we can move through you know all of those groups as quickly as possible. Klinger says the VA center is lucky to be one of the centers receiving the vaccine. She says about every two weeks the center receives a shipment of 975 doses. It's really really wonderful to see especially some of our oldest World War II vets come in um, and get vaccinated and um, to know that this is a safe vaccine and that this is going to protect them is um, is really important for us and important to those who served our country. And I'm, I want to be an example for them and anybody else, you know. I'm, I'm gratified that, that so many uh, of us, my comrades, uh, have uh, are taking the vaccine and, and they're taking it with enthusiasm and this is the way we help our country. According to Dr. Martin Klinger, the next step at the VA is to increase the number of vaccines they administer, move through all of those who identify as high risk, then begin scheduling some of the younger veterans. After that, they hope to bring the vaccine to veterans in outpatient care centers outside the city in more rural areas. She says veterans over the age of 70 can call the VA hospital's main line to schedule their appointment for the vaccine. Back to you.